shit. Get a load of this big nerds. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Boys. We're gonna go buy an engine. We're gonna go to, where are we going? Nary Warren? Nary Warren. Good old Nary. We're going to Nary Warren and I'm gonna buy a 5k and it's in like, I think it's in two halves, like the heads off the block and the alternator and all that, all the bolt-ons aren't on it and this shit everywhere. Wait, remember that time Dylan Dude, ripped, on, ripped on Nary and someone in the comments was just like, oh, your Nary's not that bad and Dylan's like, I'm sorry. We'll see, <laughs> we'll find out, we'll, <laughs> we'll do it, we'll do it like a live update. A live update. <laughs> As yeah. we drive through Nary. This is literally what I was talking about, buying parts out of, crawl of parts out of a dirty shed in Nary. <laughs> oh shit man, I'm actually doing it. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Uh, you're preparing for a 50% power increase? Yes. Although I'm like so scared that that's not going to happen. 110% power increase. Right? Why are you scared it won't happen? I don't know man, like... You're scared you're not going to get... i never built a motor in my life. You're scared you're not going to get 50, you're going to get like 70? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I might put... I might put a cam and valve springs in it and rev it to the sky and back. But I don't know yet. And that's a decision I have to make. And I'm going to force Matt... I'm going to force Matt to put in an MSD ignition so that we can do two steps Did on Did you know it. what I was thinking? What? I could like have um, an electronic rev limiter. Like I could, you know how you said you can turn the MSD on and off? Yeah. You could just keep it on all the time and put the rev limiter at like where a, a red line would be. Yeah, that's and what two step is, yeah. two step rev limiter. Yeah, one, but I mean like- One is for launch control and one is for yeah, the actual rev yeah, limiter. Yeah, yeah, that's sick. That's gonna be, that'd be awesome. Like that's actually like having yeah. a car with an actual rev limiter, not yeah. just like valves bouncing and braking and shit going everywhere. Yeah, man, this is the appeal I've been talking to you about. Yeah. Because yeah. like you don't have a rev limiter with a 4 no. when it's got carbs on it. No. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. That's going to be sick. That's Could you imagine amazing. a 5k with bike carbs, like just smashing limiter around the corner? Smashing limiter at 9,000 RPM. Oh. <laughs> it probably won't reach 9. We're 5Ks... Gonna it, we're going to make it reach 5Ks 9. don't yeah. rev as easily as 4Ks. That's the only downside because the stroke's longer. That's 9.2. 9.2 yeah, thousand RPM. It's not lame. Pretty lame. With hair that long, what are you, you gonna do with it, mate? What? Gonna gel I'm it gonna up. give it texture. All right, Bowden. This is I don't what, know if this you is, know this. This is, this is what you guys vertically. don't see. You don't this see the makeup behind face. the scenes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we actually have a professional team. We ran out of makeup artists, artists, so we're not doing that today. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm wearing sunny, so you can't. I'm hiding all the lack of makeup on my he's, face. He's hiding his panda eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Rip. I'd imagine we just go to like East Link or something, right? Uh, yeah, I should. suppose so. Yeah, we're in we're in my mum's car, so you can fit a big 5k in there. A 4k would fit in my car easy, but not a 5k. It's way bigger. Oh, 1.5. Has meters. way more power, and it looks exactly the same. Does it actually look exactly the same? Yeah, 100. Are the blocks the same size? Uh, yeah. Just with bigger blocks. Yeah. Oh, Pretty sure. Same as a 7k. Uh, oh, that's a good question. 1.8. So yeah, I don't think so. Reckon. Hello. Hello. <laughs> makeup. The makeup's done. Makeup's done. <laughs> Probably looks like crap right now, cause, dude, when you when I put um product in my hair when it's dry, it just doesn't do the thing. If really? It's wet, it it doesn't works. do the thing. It just doesn't do the thing. Yeah, we've arrived onto a freeway which the is M1. doing about 20 k's an hour, and it's not cool. Dude, this is where my E36 died. Really? Yeah, further down here. Oh, you yeah. said that in the Q and A, didn't you? You said that the piston rings just. Yeah, well, yeah, I was I was on my way to school and I was like, woohoo! I've got a full tank of 95. I've got an ice cream. I'm with my good buddy Alec. I'm driving to the beach and I'm gonna go get drunk. I haven't. What ice cream did you have? A, I think it was a. Did you have a bubble? I think it was a Bond. I think it was a Maxi oh, Bond. Bon. No, it was a Calippo. It was a Calippo. Uh, oh, that's like summer feels. I was like in a big Calippo mood. It was literally right there. Billy and Matt was trying to merge onto the freeway. Oh. He was like, oh, it's a butt fuck of Honda Jazzes. And then, <laughs> next minute, this Honda Jazz literally, like, part or like, you know, it's, it's sits the, right next to him as we're meant to be merging. It's the as end the of lane the merging lane. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and just sits there. Just like drives drives me off the freeway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> On the rumble strip. Yeah. Oh, God. Literally just. Would have yeah. been so good if we caught that because I called it and then the guy just like tried to kill me. So. In the Honda Jazz. Yeah. Yeah. Gag. There was two Honda Jazzes behind us and. Both of them were trying to get into the lane, as I was also trying to get into the lane, and it was just a big Honda Jazz shitstorm. It's because they got the VTEC, man. Dude, it's, it. I should have been a real SUV driver and yeah, just run yeah, people just, over. Just push, push with them. Push be a, be a BMW driver, no indicators, just just kill people or be a Mustang driver just and kill more people. people. Dude, like, look at this shit. Where are we? What am I looking at? What is this? There are horses over there. Oh, I thought they were I'm pretty sure they're kangaroos, man. No, they're just tall cows. They do all have fun not getting to work on time. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. The, real, six. the realization. Just, yeah, dude, that'd be sick. That'd use... be easy. Got two hours. Yeah, it should be right. Nary. Old mate, pretty highway. We're almost there. 
Dude, remember when I was driving your Crusader and we dragged a, f a seven seater? Yeah, I was like, yeah. I was um, sitting on the brake because it was auto. I was sitting on the brake and like just touching the accelerator to get the revs up a little. And the guy must have been able to see. And he, <laughs> he just absolutely floored it. And I think he got wheel spin. Like we heard yeah. wheel screech and it yeah. wasn't us. And we were like, what the hell? Yeah. And there was a seven seater with like a, uh, like a mum and dad in the front. Yeah. Mover. And like all it's seats were full too. Like there were kids all in the oh. back and the and the mum was so pissed off and the kids in the back were just like yeah. and the dad just got the biggest smile on his face it's so funny but yeah and then, like, and then he went for like round two and round three yeah yeah he, he just like totally planted it and we thought you know what yolo let's go for it so we beat him by like half a car length every time too so it was like actually a good matchup actually so close. which is really sad because he had a minivan full of kids <laughs> <laughs> now that I think about it. It's a good match. That's Dude, if it was the KE, we could have got chopped by about a hundred meters. Chopped so hard. Alright, we'll be there soon and we'll have an engine soon. I don't know if we'll film when we get it, because the guy, like, we don't like to just, like, buy shit and shove cameras in people's faces, but... And on their, like, 15 minutes on their property. The oh, 15, oh, 15 minutes away. Alright, we'll be there soon. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. This is my crib. I sleep over there, underneath that helmet. Uh, this is where I do skids, and that's it. That's all I do with my life. <laughs> 5k, hell yeah. Stoke. And he said it went way harder than his 4k, so I'm really excited. Um, he gave me a clutch and flywheel as well. He said the flywheel is lightened, which is awesome, so I'll be able to pick those revs up quick as. And he said that the uh, clutch is brand new. Yeah, he said it's all brand new, so which I don't know why sweet. he gave it to me for nothing. but. Yeah. And he also has a bucket seat for sale on KE rails that moves like forward and backwards and everything. It's like just having a stock seat. Yeah. And I think I'm going to go back and get it off him, because why not? Yeah. So I don't have a stand yet, so I'm just going to like go home and put this on the ground or put it on. We'll find something to put it on. Uh, I'll Stack get a stand. I'll get a stand soon, and then clean the crap out of it. And then a dude from Crawl Pages. His name's James. I won't say his last name, but yeah, James is um going to help us build this motor. It's going to be sick. Yeah. So we're what we're doing James. is we are pulling apart the bottom end basically and replacing bearings. Yep. And probably a couple other things on the way. Yep. And give it a little clean. Get a, giving it a fresh up, freshen up. New head studs because he didn't have them. He says it's high comp. He says the block's been shaved. Not has it head. been shaved? So the I think it has shaved, not the head. Yeah. It'll look good soon, I promise. And it'll have bike carbs on it. Bike crabs. Bike crabs. And it'll go brep brep. We got strawberry Oreos. Strawberries. Strawberries. Oh, damn. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck yeah. Good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so. Now comes the exciting times, we were talking about it a little bit in the last video. With the Corollas, we've all kind of got some suspension sh stuff going on, like it's all, you know, we've got our suspension set pretty well, um, you know, chassis stuff is alright, and now we're starting to move on to some engine stuff. And this is uncharted territory for us, and um, I think what's really exciting for the three of us, me, Seb and Matt, is that we're all going different directions with it. We're all going similar directions, but with different engines, so... Yeah. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, so Seb, <laughs> shut up. So um, Seb's got the 4AC. He's chucking the R1 carburetors on it, and uh, he's gonna get a big cam in it, and he's gonna do some uh, double valve springs. Um, Matt's doing the same. He's building up, but like first he's uh, rebuilding this 5K. Yeah, to I'm gonna actually make it work first. Yeah, and then we got the bike carbs and the cams or a can. Yeah. And then um, <laughs> next week I'm picking up a small port for AG and I'm also gonna chuck that on an engine stand until I can bolt up some, I'm gonna get some R1 carbs as well and that kind of stuff. And I've been doing lots of research into like MSD ignition and doing two step and being an absolute nutter. So we pretty, all want to do that. Yeah, we well, just. Well, I do. I don't just step. I haven't really told him much about it. <clears throat> so. What we're going to do is hook up an ignition where we can literally just set a rev limiter connected to the tachometer so that say potentially if my car revs to 8000 like that's its max we can set it maybe at 7000 seven and a half so that i never hit the max but it'll sound like i've got an electronic limiter it'll sound like i'm hitting that limiter so it's going to sound like a modern car hitting rev limiter and banging flames and stuff well, also you'll be able to just sit at rev limiter for as long as you like right yeah yeah it, it, it doesn't what does it do it cuts does it cut yeah, spark it, it and it dump cut, fuel yeah it cuts yeah. ignition but because it's a carburetor it's still pulling fuel through yeah so that means you're just dumping fuel, fuel through yeah. and 
blowing mad flame. It's like so, a, yeah, so, out the wazoo. and that's not, and that makes it better for your car as well. So you can actually sit on the limiter safely yeah. doing that, which it's gonna be freaking awesome. Also flames. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, <laughs> let's, uh, let's not get past the coolest part, flames. But yeah, so we are moving on to some Corolla engine stuff. Yeah. With some variety. Yeah. We've got some engine swaps going down. We got some engine modifications going down. Uh, we're getting balls deep in it, stuff we haven't <laughs> done before. It's pretty scary. We're getting but, deep AF. Yeah, but it's also fun. Hell yeah. Hopefully, uh, we can take you along for the journey and make it, you know, uh, easier to follow on with. It's probably going to be interesting because I'm going to break a whole lot of shit personally. Yeah, um, me. My engine's in about 174 pieces, and I don't know anything about engines, so that's just a, a dead giveaway that something's probably going to go bad. But <laughs> hopefully, with this guy on the crawl forums. Um, I, I, I don't know if you watch this, but shout out to that guy, James, because he's, he said he's going to help me or do a walkthrough for us building my 5K, and he's got heaps of K-series parts, so that's going to be really, really cool to kind of get a guy that knows who we are to help us out for the channel and do us some good. And he knows what he's talking about, unlike us. Yeah. So we'll say uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Have a shit day, Jeez, as always. always. Yeah. No, nah, have a great day. Aww. Have a yeah, sick day. Damn it. Have a mad day. Have the best day. Yeah, have a 10 out of 10 day. It was the worst of times. <laughs> you stupid monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Just cut it. Just cut it.